really only one electrical modification to make our servo continuous rotation. Uh, internally I've clipped the three wires going from the potentiometer to the controller board and basically I've electrically replaced the pot with two fixed resistors. These are two 2.7K resistors in a uh, voltage divider arrangement wired exactly like the pot was. Um, these are like 1 8 watt resistors. You could certainly go a lot smaller to make uh, buttoning the whole package up easier. This is just what I had on hand right there, but no real power through there so you could use smaller resistors. Now to get uh, our mechanical connections out, uh, this is a uh, hexagonal drive shaft. We're only going to use about one, one inch of this to drive our spider legs. But uh, I just basically I ran each end through a 256 die, and that threads pretty nicely into our output hole. This is currently hooked up to a servo tester. I run this thing. You can, you can tell there's barely any perceptible run out even at the far end of the shaft. That's sort of perfectly fine for our needs right here. And this is a good time to kind of show the low speed characteristics of this servo. Not all servos make great continuous rotation servo, but this one sure does. That's it for the HXT900 Continuous Rotation Servo.